Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to introduce you to the concepts of predictive maintenance, also known as condition-based maintenance. Predictive maintenance is given that name because it is the type of maintenance in which the maintenance actions are taken based on prediction of failure. That is to say that the maintenance technician goes and performs maintenance when he receives some information from some predictive system that a machine is about to experience a problem. The reason why it is given the name of condition-based maintenance is because by far the most common way the system of predictions work is by a method known as condition monitoring. So what is condition monitoring? In simple terms, condition monitoring refers to installing sensors and measuring devices over equipment to collect different types of data that is able to express some fault inside the machine. This data could be measurement of vibration, temperature, pressure, or any other operating parameter of the machine. So for example, if you want to apply condition monitoring over an industrial pump in order to do predictive maintenance on it, you would question yourself that which operating parameter best expresses good health of the pump. In the case of the pump, which is a rotary equipment, its vibrations are a very good measure of its condition. A pump in good condition will have low vibrations and stable vibrations. And as any components inside the pump degrades, it will generally raise pump vibrations. Therefore, if we are able to monitor the vibration measurements of the pump, we would be able to predict its failure through the slightest variation of its vibration readings. So what we are going to do is install a vibration sensor on this pump and connect it with a computer system. This vibration sensor will send live vibration readings to the computer system which will store and monitor the readings. The range of normal vibrations will already be fed or interpreted by the system, or an algorithm will be checking the readings. In case the pump's vibration cross the defined normal limits or the defined normal behavior, the computer system will give a message to the maintenance department to go and replace the pump's bearing, otherwise a failure may occur. This is the prediction of the condition monitoring system over which a technician would go and check the ball bearing for replacement. For different processes and type of equipment, different variables other than vibration may be monitored to generate predictions. For rotary equipment, vibrations are a common monitoring measure of choice. Temperature or pressure or some other metric may be used for other types of equipment and processes. What is to be measured is selected based on what best predicts the failure. With this, let us conclude our discussion and we'll see you in the next lecture.